the Oklahoma Centennial Rodeo Opry, where tomorrow's stars are coming out tonight. It happened one day near December's end. Two neighbors called of an old friend, and they found his shop so meek and lean, made bright with a thousand bows of green. And Conrad was sitting, his face a shine, when suddenly stopped as he stitched a twine and said, Friends, at dawn today, when the rooster was crowing the night away, the Lord appeared in a dream to me and said, I'm coming your guest to be. So I've been busy with feet of stir and strewing my shop with branches of fir. The table is spread and the kettle is shine, and over the rafters the holly is twined. So I'll wait for my Lord to appear and listen closely as he nears my humble place. Then I'll open the door and look on his face. So his friends went on home and left Conrad alone, for this was the happiest day he'd known. For long since, his family had passed away, and Conrad had spent many a sad Christmas day. But he knew with the Lord as his Christmas guest, this Christmas would be the dearest and best. So he waited with only joy in his heart, and with every sound, he'd rise with a start and look for the door, Lord to be at his door, like the vision he'd had a few hours before. He ran to the window when he heard a sound, but all he could see on the snow-covered ground was a shaggy beggar whose shoes were torn and all his clothes were ragged and worn. But Conrad was touched, so he went to the door and said, You know, your feet must be frozen and sore. I've got some shoes in my shop for you and a coat that'll keep you warm too. So with grateful heart, the man went away, but Conrad noticed the time of day and wondered, what made the Lord so late? And how much longer he'd have to wait? He went to the door when he heard a knock. That is only a stranger once more. A bent old lady with a shawl back black. She had a bundle of kindling tied to her back. She asked for only a place to rest, but that was reserved for Conrad's great crest. Her voice seemed to plead. Don't send me away. Let me rest a while on Christmas Day. So Conrad grew to her steaming cup and told her to sit at the table and sup. But when she left, he was filled with dismay, for the hours of Christmas were passing away, and the Lord hadn't come as he said he would. Conrad felt sure he misunderstood. When soft in the silence, he heard a cry. Please help me and tell me, where am I? So once again, Conrad went to his friendly door. Stood disappointed as twice before. It was only a child who'd wandered away and was lost from her family on Christmas Day. Again, Conrad's heart was heavy and sad, but he knew he should make this little girl glad. So he called her in, wiped her tears quieted all her childish fears, and then led her home once more. But as he entered his own darkened door, he knew the Lord wasn't coming today, for the hours of Christmas had passed away. So he went to his bedroom, knelt down and prayed, 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 and said, Lord, why did you delay? What kept you from coming to call on me? For I wanted so much your face to see. When out of the darkness, a voice he heard, Lift up your head, for I kept my word. Three times I came to your lowly door, And three times my shadow crossed your floor. I was the beggar with bruised cold feet. I was the woman you gave something to eat. I was the child on a homeless street. Three times I knocked. And three times I came in, and I always found the warmth of a friend. Of all the gifts, love is the best, and I was honored.
to be your Christmas guest.